Hello, I am Matthew Woodman, the director and producer of Rumors and Roses. And I'm William Schreiber, the writer. The film largely came about when we brought Walham in with his monumental reputation from over in the mainland to, to create this piece of truly affecting drama that would, that would really appeal to today's audiences. The studio itself actually received several requests from Walham to come over here and expand his career in the United Kingdom. Oh yeah, we thought we thought it would be best to make some some minor changes on the script that I already originally drafted, so that it would have a more cultural feel. Yes, yes. The, there were some differences in the casting, but. Uh, we managed to overcome the issues, and I'm sure you'll agree, it, it, it makes for a much better experience overall. Just fucking do it, okay? Right, thank you. Hello. And you're on time. <clears throat> Did you know the strudel's earliest recipe is dated to the 16th century? Magnificent bit of pastry delight, I tell you. Because there are so many flavors. It's like ice cream. You can determine somebody's personality based on their favorite flavor. The way they eat it, when they eat it, why they eat that and not something else. Not one strudel is the same as another. <laughs> it's, not, it's not like ice cream. It's not scooped out of a box and put in a cone. <sighs> Every time the pastry is made differently, the fillings maybe are frozen or they're organic, temperatures, textures, taste. It's all relative to the person who made it and the person who's going to eat it. I thought that was, was good. Is that good? Yeah, that was good. If you uh, leave your application outside with Sarah, we'll, um, we'll get back to you. Okay. As soon as. Thank you. He was okay. I'll definitely take him into consideration. Yeah. I liked his chin. Also, this line seems a bit iffy. Do you mind if I chop and uh, change it a bit? Yeah, that's good. That's really good. Well, you're just gonna have to tell the festival to fuck off. I'm not giving them exclusivity. Wait. Wait, hang on, I'll call you back. In the beginning, there was Adam, and there was Eve, and life was normal. Then they tried the forbidden fruit, and life was amazing. The forbidden fruit is milkshake, but will you be my Eve? That's my star. That's it. <laughs> hey. Mr. Schumer, sir, I just wanted to tell you I'm a huge fan of your older work and I'm really, really excited to be working with you on this. I mean, the scripts are good. It's just uh, a lot younger than most of your previous work. This here is our professional studio. This is where all the magic of marketing happens. Now, James here, he is a fantastic artist. He's the kind of guy who could make Rankin bite his thumb out of envy. <laughs> I would hardly say that, Matthew. No. You really do flatter me. No. But in all seriousness, I wouldn't be here if I hadn't been trained by the best. <laughs> and with this state-of-the-art studio and my rare qualities, we'll make sure this job gets done and done right. Ich denke wirklich, dass James diese Zettel und Fähigkeiten besitzt, von denen er sprach. Ich meine, wie viele Schimpansen <lacht> können ein Kammer ausrichten oder auf einen Knopf drücken. 
Daumen schon auf. Diese beweglichen Daumen. Ich frage mich vor, ob ich ein, so ein Paar bekommen kann. The whole process of filmmaking. It's a close guidance of the studio. Has given me a true insight into what I wish to do in the future. Yes, and uh, and that I can safely say that I expect Walhelm and I to be working closely together in the future. <laughs> the name is Wilhelm, bitch. Writing yourself up there, oh, yeah. but he's having his moment. This is great. Make love with my camera, yes. That's it. Well, I don't care. You're just gonna have to tell the festival to fuck off. I'm not giving them exclusivity. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he's got another call. That was Duran. <laughs>